Hey everybody, this is Liron from Artlist and welcome back to our channel. If you haven't heard or noticed, we just launched our new sound effects feature on Artlist. You can check it out, link is in the description below. And for that special occasion we thought, why not talk about sound design and teach you guys how to take your videos with it to the next level. But before we start, hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel using that notification bell on to never miss another video with us. We also have an amazing giveaway waiting for you at the end of the video and we're going to announce our four lucky winners from the last video's giveaway. So make sure you stick around. Let's jump in. So this is a project we did for the uh, sound effect bundle we gave away uh, for Black Friday. As you can see, there is ton of sound design we did here. This is the video without sound design, just with the music. Pretty cool, but it can get a lot better than that. All you need to do is add some sound design. Now, I wanna show you how it looks and how it sounds with only sound design. The video works both ways, either only with sound effects or only with music. Combine these two together and you get a really, really cool video. So let's go a little bit into depth on what we did here. Don't use one sound effect. Always try to stack uh, the layers on top of each other with different sounds. They could be similar but they don't have to be the same sound. So I'll give you an example. Let's put these layers on solo. These layers are actually for the first scene you saw uh, of the astronaut. So check this out. So you can see we have four different layers. Each layer gives it more depth. So let's separate those four layers so you can hear uh, people talking on radio communication. This is another sound. Now, this is an intro impact, starts the whole film. It's very big, it's very long. This is another uh, layer of atmosphere where you hear the astronaut breathing. Now at space, from this distance, you probably won't hear the astronaut breathing. You need to be in his helmet, but this is the beauty of sound design. This gives you the depth of the scene. It puts the audience invested into that scene. And the uh, fifth and final sound for this specific shot, this little shot, five layers of sound, another impact. So here's that sound. These two impacts together, and together with the breathing and the radio communication. And you've got yourself a great sound design for a small shop. I want you to notice for this little transition we did with the girl, you don't see the punch, but you hear it to emphasize this cut. You have three different sounds to give you the impact. And with the car, you're starting to hear it before it comes in. So this is how it looks and this is how it sounds. So we have three different sounds for the car. And this main sound is the one that will help the transition. You can see it starting to go in with the hit that we don't see. Okay, so this gives the impact of the transition. And when you add the rest of the sounds for the car, you get a really great transition using only sound design. 
In this case, where you see the pool ball getting hit and we transition into the police scene. So we wanted to create something a lot more powerful when seeing this specific shot. It's a close up and we wanted to give that a lot of power. So obviously that's not the sound that you hear when you're hitting a pool ball. You have three different impacts. You can hear this one with the riser, which gives you uh, more tension and more power to the scene. And it actually gives you a nice transition to that specific shot. So this is the riser with the impact. You have the impact itself. So you have a riser with an impact. You have another impact. Okay, you can hear it without the first one. Let's solo that. Okay, so you have a really low pass, really heavy based impact and you have another impact. So these are three different impacts, like we've said. This one is with the riser as well. Okay, it even sounds a bit metal sounding. Uh, so you have three different impacts with risers for just one short hit with a billiard stick on a billiard ball. So to transition those two shots, you also have the gun loading, which obviously the dude in the specific visual didn't do, but it makes sense when you see them coming into the room. So this is how it sounds. And of course you have these two sounds for the police coming in. One is the police sirens and the radio communication. So you don't actually see the sirens, you don't see any radio communication, but it's there uh, to tell a better story, a more convincing story. Exploding strawberries. How the hell does that sound? Nobody knows except the sound designer. This is a job to figure out how to bring to life this visual. When we approached this specific shot, we knew we wanted something that would give texture because you see a lot of texture in the visuals and maybe a, like something wet or mushy uh, alongside that. So uh, what we did was taking, we took two sounds. One is a man chewing and the other is bones breaking. So for the man's chewing, we uh, took that and put low pass filters on it that gave us that mushy sound. And for the texture, we used the bones breaking. Again, used a low pass filter on it and that gave us some more texture. So if I'll put those two together, uh, we'll get a great sound for exploding strawberries. Now, this is how it sounds with the low pass, everything on it. Now you've got to hear this solo this is the man chewing. Ugh. Amazing. Uh, this is with the low pass. Now what happens when you take out the low pass? Sounds like this. Definitely worse than what we wanted. So the low pass here helped us achieve that mushy wetness sound. Uh, you can always play with the low pass or the high pass or the uh, EQ to get different sounds from your already existing sound effects. You can get really creative with it. Now for the texture, we did the bones breaking. I want to show you how it sounds without the low pass first. <laughs> Terrible. Definitely wouldn't fit this specific and this beautiful visual. So again, all you need to do is take the low pass filter and now you can check it out. So put these two together, the man chewing and the bones breaking with the low pass, you'll get great texture and great wetness and mushy sounds. Add your impacts and your wishes. Mm. 
sounds like sweet strawberries falling apart in slow motion. Another quick example for a great use of low pass. We had this great shot uh, of a manta ray doing a 360 flip underwater. What we did here, we took some existing water sounds and we put the low pass filter on it to make those water sounds feel underwater. What basically the low pass does is it cuts all the high frequencies in the sound. So this is without the low pass and this is with the low pass. So you can take any sound, again, put a low pass filter on it, play with it, get creative with it. You can get really great results when you cut out all the high frequencies. Same, by the way, with high pass. You can achieve that effect pretty easily with the uh, EQ or just type in right here, low pass, and you have it right there. Pretty simple. And here's some few extra tips for you guys. So let's say uh, I need a riser, but I don't have one. I only have impacts. Well, there's a very, very simple solution for that. You can reverse the impact and it will turn into a riser. So let's take this for example. So I had an impact here. And uh, all I wanted is uh, maybe a transition to this beautiful manta ray doing a 360. So all I need to do is right click on the sound, go to speed and duration, reverse speed, and I've got myself a riser. Now you can get even more creative with that. Just take any sound, put some reverse on it, see how it sounds. Maybe it sounds cool and can fit something else and maybe it can give you some more creative ideas on your, uh, on your specific sound design. And my two last tips can differentiate you from the pro sound designers to the amateur sound designers. And these are the panning, the left and right panning and the equalizer. So let's talk a little bit about the panning. So I have this um, bird sounds, okay? Great, now the birds are crossing the frame from left to right. Now to uh, give this scene even more power, you can create panning that comes from the left and goes to the right. Now all the big sound designs on movies use that all the time. You see somebody on the right side of the screen talking, you're probably going to hear him more on the right side of the speakers. Now, obviously, if you hear this on a mobile phone without earphones, you'll have trouble hearing the power of the panning. So put on your headphones. Let's give that small example with the birds. OK, all you need to do to enter the panning is right click on the small FX box. You have the panner. You click on pan and you get the panning. Now the panning works when you go uh, upwards, it's the left side. And when you go downwards, it's the right side. So if our birds are moving from left to right, we want our sound to move from left to right. So all you need to do is create keyframes, give our sound, take our sound to the left side and move it while the birds are crossing to the right. And this is how it sounds. Okay, now uh, let's take another example with the panner. So we have our car scene, right? And our car is on the right. So we can take that specific sound in our car we have three different sounds, remember? One, two, three, let's check it. Great. Now they're all in uh, the middle centered. If we'll take the panner and we'll take this, let's open that. And we want the car sound to be a bit on the right. And we'll take this downwards. Let's hear that. Okay, now you can hear it 
harder on the right. We can take it even more to the extreme like this. And when you add another sound uh, from the different layers that we have, uh, let's take this one. Now you get more depth because this sound is in the middle. Give it a nice panning right like that. So we'll have it starting in the middle and go and switch into the right. And maybe the third layer will just gonna keep it as it is centered. And this is how it sounds. It gives it even more depth. Okay, so you hear the car entering on the right and then you hear the sound balancing in to the center. Now you can probably imagine when you have different things crossing your frame uh, from left to right, playing with the panning can be super, super powerful. It always take your sound design to the next level. And uh, our last uh, tip, as I said, is using the equalizer. We've touched a little bit when we've talked about low pass and high pass, but with the equalizer, you get all the range of frequencies in the sound. So let's take this shot of the whiskey pouring into the glass. This is how it sounds without any equalizer on it. Pretty uh, regular. Now all you need to do is write in the effects panel EQ and parametric equalizer, you drop it on here. You have on the effects control panel, a uh, small edit button. And now you can see the waveforms on the equalizer. Now the middle ones are the mids, the left are the lows and the rights are the uh, highs when we're talking about frequencies and you can play with those different frequencies. So this specific shot, you have mostly the mids and we can just take it down if we want. It will sound a lot more hollow because we took all the mid frequencies and we took them down, we lowered them. Okay, so this is with the equalizer and this is without the equalizer. So these are my two tips for you guys that can take uh, your sound design to the next level and differentiate you from the amateur sound designers to the pro ones. And that's how you can use sound design to elevate your videos. So I hope that video helped you out. If it did, slapity slap that like button using those sound effects. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel with the notification bell on. And now for that amazing giveaway we've promised you guys. One lucky winner will win a one year free subscription to our new sound effects feature on our list. All you need to do is like, subscribe and comment down below what's the best sound design you've seen on a video, commercial or movie. Let us know in the comments below, we'll pick one lucky winner. Here are our four lucky winners from our last video's giveaway. Give them a round of applause. And I'll see you at the next video. Till then, Stay creative.